Yes. The workers get exposed to enough of it to where they would uh, not only have cancer, but uh, potentially uh, like birth defects in their children. And what are the OSHA standards for exposure? I know usually, generally speaking, OSHA standards are a lot more lax than, than uh, the public standards, like we were saying, five people. What the OSHA standard for exposure would be up, man? Well, the levels of work, I don't know. I have to say, I don't know what the OSHA standard is off the top of my head. Um, the, we only looked at what the concentrations in air were, how big the particles were, where the worker was, you know, and take into account dilution, you know, depending on how close a worker was to the pipe cleaning operation. Uh, in order to determine the amount that the person breathed in or ingested by wiping their hand on their mouth, say, or direct gamma, material that's fallen on the ground that is, you know, giving off a direct gamma dose. We estimated the dose, then calculated the dose, and then we determined what's called uh, their assigned share. That is, we estimated the likelihood that radiation caused their cancer. That, that, that's the process that we used. Uh, I don't know if that answers your question. What about potential cause of birth defects and genetic damage? We, we didn't look into what's happening to their families. We didn't. Uh, in, the, in this, for this Texas rancher, I know that his whole family has gotten cancer. You know, uh, but that's a small um, cohort, you know, so one can't deduce anything from that. Um, so I don't know the answer to that question. Um, 